So are you ready? I think I am. I've started filming now. Are you serious? Oh, we can still take. Are, are you kidding? Eh? Yeah, I'm going to put this one. Are you kidding? No, I'm no. not. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, that, that is You're okay. not acting now. It's it's all natural. <laughs> okay. like, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aries, and today we are beginning something exciting. Mm. Hopefully, this is something that we can make into a series or something like that. So here with me, I have someone. She's going to tell us her name and what she's going to do for us today and for hopefully the next few times that she's going to come back to see us. Yeah. All right. So we would like to meet you okay my name is chema and i'm into arts and craft and i'm going to be doing a um a plushy super lush puffy handbag for you guys <laughs> i'll be the one anchoring the tutorial today and it's going to be centered around crochet okay yeah. mm -hmm. so professional <laughs> like the plushy super <laughs> lush even me i was like <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's still talking about crochet. Okay, okay so basically she's mm -hmm. going to be making crochet bags for us. This mm -hmm. is something that me, I want to learn. I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. So this is a me thing. If you want to watch this, you can just keep watching. If this is something that you would like to see more of, just put it in the comment section. So we're going to put links as per usual. We're going to put links in the description. If you want to actually get into this, if you want to expand your creative horizon or whichever way you say, me, I also speak big English like a, me, I like to get straight to the point <laughs> so if you want to expand your skill set this is actually something that we would like to get into so what do you think about this put in the comment section i need to get your feedback so this is like a pilot episode i think we're going to put it like in a playlist or so so if you want to watch the crochet series so i want to give it a funky name she says she does not want i'm like should we call her choma crochet <laughs> or crochet choma a crochet with anti trauma. You need to pick <laughs> one. Like so you both, should, you both should tell us how yes, we call exactly. this series. Yeah, Put it in Exactly. Put it down there. Mm. Let's hear. I want us to have as much fun as possible. Yeah. But after all that plenty talk, now let's get down to business. So trauma will take us to our craft table where she will walk us through the tools you are going to need and the type of yarns. I think okay, I think in the future we she would even teach us more about the particular tools, but exactly. now we just want to just do like a test run to get your own feedback on yeah. this. So she's gonna talk about everything and the technique she's going to be using for today and the type of purse she's going to be making everything about the post is going to fill you guys in but me i'm just here to just do introduction i want to go and eat my lunch so <laughs> two of you you both you both you both you both sort the whole thing um, wow. out so mm -hmm. don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching this video i hope you stay to the end if you do you are the real real og and thanks so much for the feedback i get from you guys for everything we are almost at 10k or more you must do and subscribe but let's have a 10k party mm -hmm. i'm planning something big in june that is as much as you get hint why so please subscribe subscribe if you are in nigeria if you are in lagos you better subscribe because this one is people that will even gain the most self all right now mm -hmm. auntie choma take Let's it away it. Oh. okay to make this bag we're going to be these are the tools we're going to be using we're going to be using a crochet hook a 10 millimeter crochet hook a tapestry needle or some people know it as a darning needle it's a needle with a big eye okay as you can see then we'll be needing our stitch markers we'll also be needing these are the accessories for the bag this is a bag clasp like a buckle this is the d rings we're going to be using the d rings then we'll be needing a, a split circle okay look at what it does it's not your regular o-ring this is a split o-ring see what it does okay so as we go along the uh, video you would um, see where all these tools all these accessories come in you see where it comes in so this is the just the tag handy dandy tag and this is the, the chain for the bag okay we'll be needing our tape rule to measure our project then this is a yarn and this is called a t-shirt yarn so this is the start of the project so to begin this project we would need to make a slip knot most crochet projects start with a slip knot and there are many techniques to making one so we do this by holding on to the tail end of our yarn just like so okay so once you have that you 
wrap it around your index finger and cross it over the yarn holding onto the cross you just made carefully slide it out of your finger then bring the yarn through the loop like so and insert your crochet hook into the loop you just made and tighten so after making a slip knot the next step in any crochet project is usually to create a series of chain stitches and these stitches form the foundation on which you build the rest of the project the next thing you're going to do is to wrap the yarn around your hook just like so and pull it through the loop okay you wrap it around your your yarn and you pull it through the hoop your desired number of chains um, the next thing we'll be doing is um, we're making our foundation row and our foundation row will be we worked behind our chain stitches behind just like that so if you look at it from the front you see like a braid stitch but if you flip it over you see a lineup of loops or ridges behind our chain and that is where we are going to be working our single crochet stitches so to work a single crochet what we need to do is we'll skip one loop or one chain or one ridge we'll skip one loop and insert our hook into the second loop just like this so once you've inserted your hook you're going to yarn over okay wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through the loop as you can see okay now we now have two loops on the hook so you yarn over again just like that and pull through the two loops on your hook just like that so we're making the next single crochet the same flow insert your hook yarn over pull through the loop just like that you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all two loops just like so so once we have a pair of single crochet stitches done the next thing will be to make a chain so you remember how we make a chain we wrap our yarn around the hook and pull through the loop just like that okay so once you've made your chain you skip one loop and plant another single crochet in the next stitch so we're going to be planting two single crochets that's a pair in the next two stitches so the same flow just like that another single crochet in the next stitch just like that and we now have a pair so the next thing will be to chain up again a chain just like that you chain make a chain then you skip one stitch and plant a single crochet in the next stitch so And subsequent row will be where our puff stitch is coming so the next row will be basically we'll start that by chaining up two just as i'm doing right here so once you have your two chains you skip the first stitch just like that and work your single crochet in the chain spaces we made in the previous row you remember those chain spaces we made by skipping one stitch okay so once you've, you've skipped that um first stitch you make a single crochet in that chain space space then you mark that ch those chain stitches you made so once we've planted the single crochet the next thing will be to make our puff stitch and we're making our puff stitch at the first at the base of the first stitch we can just see just right there okay the first stitch the base of the first stitch you can see that's where we'll be planting our puff stitch okay and i'm going to show you how to do that just right there i'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to be inserting our hook into that base chain okay just like that then wrap our yarn around our hook and pull through that loop just like that wrap again go back into that space yarn over okay it's very fiddly but just follow through and it should become a breeze okay the second time so for the last time you yarn over you go back in yarn over again 
Okay, you can see what's happening behind. Okay. Then, once you have it on your hook, that's the yarn on your hook, then you pull through just like that. So the next thing we'll do will be to yarn over again and pull through. If you count the stitches on the on the hook on the hook, there are about six stitches. So we would need to yarn over and pull through five stitches. Okay, just like that. Just be very careful so you don't lose a, a loop. Okay, so we now have two loops on our hook. We yarn over again and pull through those two loops. If you've done this a couple of times, you understand the flow. Okay, so once we've done that, the next thing will be to plant a single crochet in the next chain space from that previous row, from our first row. Okay, so we've planted a single crochet in that chain space just like that so after doing that the next thing will be to plant another puff stitch and we plant another puff stitch beside the previous puff stitch we have just made so if you can see that now there's a, a stitch beside the puff stitch you will skip that stitch and plant the next puff stitch in the next stitch okay so skip the very stitch beside the puff stitch and plant it in the next stitch i hope i'm making sense okay so the same flow insert your hook pull up a loop okay you yarn over again you go back into that space you yarn over you pull through yarn over again go back into that space for the very last time to wrap your yarn around your hook again from behind and pull a loop we now have six loops on our hook so you're going to be dipping your crochet hook into that space three times to create the puff stitch so now that we have six loops on our hook the next thing will be to yarn over again and pull through what i'm trying to do is just dress my yarn yarn um, t-shirt yarn splits a lot so you need to dress it from time to time if the back is picking through so you yarn over and you pull through five loops Okay, until you just have one loop so we now have two then you yarn over again and you pull through just like that it's quite easy so you go back in again to the next chain space and plant a single crochet so So once we have our first puff stitch done, as you can see, we'll be making a single crochet and we'll be planting a single crochet in the next stitch. So you skip one stitch and plant in the next stitch. Okay, so I skipped one and I planted a single crochet right there. So we're making our puff stitch and our puff stitch, we'll be making them just right there. So basically, we on top of the puff stitch from the previous row, that's the corresponding puff stitch from the previous row.
I've completed my last row. The next thing we're going to be doing for this project is to clean up the edges. Okay, and we're going to be cleaning up the edges with um, a simple single crochet stitches and even distribution along, especially this, the length and the both, the longer sides of the project and the shorter one. So how we're going to be doing that is we we'll chain up one, then you plant a single crochet inside the first loop here. Okay. So to make sure you have an even distribution of single crochets, you have to um, make two single crochets here in the valleys and two single crochet in this part that looks like the peak. So here. Okay. Just, just like so. Okay, so once you get to the corner, you plant like three single crochets, so um, the corners would, um, it won't fold over. So you're going to make it three instead of one, so that you can have a sharp edge or a rounded edge, if you would. So I'm going to be crocheting over this thread hanging loose so we don't have to sew it in at the end of the project so with the single crochet row the next step for this project is to construct the part that goes here and here and we're going to be doing that by making a slip knot like we did when we started this project you make a slip knot like this okay then we're going to chain up um, four so one two three and four just like this so into the next chain we're going to be working in the back ridges again we'll make a single crochet like this like this So for this, I intend to make um, probably six to seven rows. Let's see how it goes. Centimeters or 11 centimeters in height. 10 or 11 centimeters. So that should be around six or seven rows. So I have about six rows here. So let's measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, six rows. Okay, so we are good. Now that we have our two panels for both sides complete, we are going to weave in these loose ends. And this is how we do it. You can use a, a smaller crochet who can just, just hide them. So for the next step, we're going to be attaching our O-rings to our side panel, just like so. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So you just take a little thread, you use a tiny hook, insert it into the top, like the second row. Okay. Then you install your D-ring then look for 
a different hole where you so we just want so you go behind and just tie a very firm knot So this is how we're going to do it. Don't forget, I didn't cut off this, um, the main project. I didn't cut off the yarn because I don't want um, knots in so many places. And so to attach this, we're going to be using um, a stitch called slip stitch to attach these panels. And this is how we're going to be doing it. Okay. You pick up a stitch from the side, just like this, just as a, at a nice angle. made it to this point and now we're going to attach the second side panel okay so we're just going to keep doing that all the way to this point okay so once we are done with this the next thing will be to make the handle so how we're going to be doing that is that we're going to make a slip knot as always okay and we're going to be chaining 17 chains so one two okay so this time around we're not going to um we're not going to work on the back ridges but we're just just going to go into the loops okay we're going to be making single crochets Next time we're going to be doing is that we're going to seam, we're going to slip stitch, like we're going to seam, we're going to fold it in half and seam it at the bottom, okay? So this is how we're going to be doing that. We fold in half just like this and we're, how the, we're going to be using the slip stitch to seam. So just like this you can just chain up one chain then so one loop on one side and the back loop on the other side slip stitch and we are done okay so this is going to and 
it's a little okay that's it so i'm going to attach it to the back okay i think this is where it is right here hope you guys can see okay so the next thing we're going to do is attach this clasp so this is how we attach it look at what it looks like let me zoom in a little bit okay so this is what it looks like it has like a drag dragon tooth this is going to hold it in place like so so it's not going anywhere tassels yeah i have 30 centimeter yarn strips and this is about 65 centimeter in length so this is how we're going to be doing it so this is a dog hook okay so okay then this way like so and flip it over just like that then take and just attempt to wrap it around 